Hello everybody. Today we are going to be continuing working on our Faith Ringgold inspired quilt slash painting. Um, please make sure that you have your artist signature at the bottom of your paper. It should be in your best handwriting, your name and the year 2020. This is your artist signature. Um, and also on the back of my paper, I have my name, all right? I just have my name right here on the back. So you should have your name on the back and on the front, you should have your um, artist signature, your name and the year 2020. Please make sure that you have those things on your paper. Um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be adding the little person on our paper. Um, so the person should be yourself. You should be adding yourself to your paper. The materials that you're going to need today are a pair of scissors. You're going to need a glue stick. You're going to need a pencil. Um, and if you have a bottle of glue, we might have time today to use our bottle of glue, um, and we might not. But if you have one, please get it out. Um, and if you don't have one, it would be very helpful if you asked your parents to buy you a bottle of glue for art class. Um, because there's going to be different projects that we use, you know, bottles of glue with. So it's super helpful if you have a bottle of glue just to have for art class. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure we have scissors, glue stick, pencil, and a bottle of glue. If you don't have a bottle of glue, no worries. I have one for you to use later on. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to add our flying selves to the quilt. Now, the first step that we're going to do is we are going to make our face. In order to make the face, you're going to be able to pick a piece of construction paper that is similar to your skin color. So I chose this color because I felt like it was close to my skin color. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my quilt to the side and I'm going to use a pen, but you guys should be using a pencil. Um, now, what you're going to do is on your square, you want to make a circle that goes on the whole entire piece of, um, on the whole entire square. All right. So let's say you make a circle and it's like this. This circle is not taking up the entire square, friends. So if you make your circle like this, please go ahead and make a circle that is bigger, that goes all the way to the edges of your paper. You don't have to erase that circle that's in the middle. Don't worry about doing that. Please try to make your circle really big, going all the way to the edges. And then I want you to write your name on it. Once you get done doing that, you're going to go ahead and cut it out. Please take your time cutting your circle out. And then this will be for your face. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to need to make um, an outfit for your person. So you guys are going to get to pick your construction paper color, whatever color you'd like. And what I would suggest that you do is I would suggest if you want to make a dress, you're going to measure about two of your faces. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my circle, because this is going to be my face, I'm putting it in the corner of my paper and I'm going to put a little mark right up at the top and a little mark right at the bottom. All right, And I'm going to move my circle down right below my mark and then I'm going to add another mark right here. All right, If you want to make a dress, I would suggest that you make it about this long. 
if you want to make a shirt, if you want to make a shirt, you would do that very similarly, but just slightly different. So first I'll show you how to make a dress. It is, again, I've measured with my face and I've measured two circles. So what I'm going to do is my dress is just going to be a triangle shape. So I'm just going to, and I made this part like that so that I have space maybe to kind of do like a neck. And I'm just going to, oops, I'm just going to make my, um, my dress, all right? And then when you make something, you always want to write your name on it just in case the pieces drop on the floor or get, you know, misplaced or if we don't get a chance to finish. Now, if you want to do a um, shirt, you need to make it shorter than this. So if you want to make a shirt, what you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to measure out your circle one time like that and then the next time that you measure it out you want to go about halfway so I'm gonna make another line right about here this is about halfway and then you're going to kind of do the same thing where you're gonna go from the top of the tally mark right over here and you're just going to make a triangle like that and that could be like your shirt and you would write your name in the middle so it's up to you do you want to make a shirt do you want to make a dress make a choice all right as to what it is that you want to wear so for mine i think i'm going to go ahead and do a dress so i'm just going to cut and then what i'm going to do is in order to make it easier to cut i'm just going to cut a rectangle around my paper and then after I cut that rectangle I'm just gonna go ahead and cut on the lines now it doesn't matter if this is you know perfect or not because guess what this is the back so it's perfectly fine if you have you know other like little lines you see this little tally mark right there this little mark it's fine all right and then we're just gonna set that to the side and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just use um, a little scrap of paper that I had from earlier. I'm going to use a little scrap and I'm going to make a neck out of it. So to make my neck, I'm just going to make a small little rectangle. And right now I'm just going to kind of on my desk start putting together my person who is flying it's me flying and then I'm going to use my skin color again to um, make arms and legs so in order to make my arms and my legs I'm just going to draw a line right there and then I'm going to make another line and it should your finger should be able to fit right in the middle of it you don't want to make your arms and legs super skinny gonna do that again make another line and then make another one all right, so I can fit my finger inside each one of these. And then I'm going to write my name. Hmm, well, actually, you know what? I'm going, yeah, yeah, I'll write my name. I'm going to write my name right here. And I'm going to write my name on both sides of my line. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I plan on, oops, I plan on cutting my papers in half. And you're going to see what I'm talking about in just a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting. And you know what? I made three of them and I don't even need three. I'm silly. I only need two because I have two arms and two legs and I'm going to cut them in half. So... When I cut them in half, that'll give me four. So I'm going to set that to the side. I don't need this extra one. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it in half. And here is a pair of legs. And then I'm going to cut it in half again. And then I've got my arms. And if after you cut it, you decide that you want to maybe do some changes, you always can. It's always better to make your objects slightly bigger. Um, and I say that because you can always trim them up later. So what I'm going to do is um, I am going to just trim up my arm a little bit because I think I want it to be a little smaller than the legs. And so there I have one, and I have, I'm going to trim up this one. I have two arms like that. And then I actually decided to make a different neck. There we go. All right, so, so far I've got that. And you know what? Maybe I'll trim up the legs just a little bit too. It's completely up to you, friends, how you want, what size you want your um, arms and legs and your dress to be. I'm just going to make them a little bit skinnier. There we go. All right. There. I like that. Now, after you get done with that, um, your next step is going to be to create um, some hair. In order to do it, you're going to pick a color that matches your hair pretty good. Um, now my hair is actually two different colors. So the colors that I'm going to be choosing for my hair are this like dark brown and a light brown. And you know, for me, I can just rip, I can just rip some little pieces of paper And I can create my hair by just ripping the little pieces of paper like that.